Hello everyone, and welcome back to my playthrough of Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Last time we started off the episode going to the museum to find the Uncarn Sarcophagus. Uncarn Sarcophagus, there we go. Uh, as well as grabbing the fetish that Pisha, Pisha was uh, asked us to get. Pisha was the cannibal vampire that uh, was living in the dilapidated hospital in uh, in downtown. So once we once we found where the Ankaran sarcophagus was, we found that it was missing. And that's where we ran into Beckett, who said that he was also looking for it. Convenient. <clears throat> we made our way back to the prince, who was a little upset that we didn't bring it back with us, that it was missing. And he all of a sudden brought up Gary. And he blames Gary. Gary is the Nosferatu primogen who apparently has his hideout, his lair, in um, in Hollywood, in Hollywood proper. Uh, he has asked us to go uh, talk to the Baron of uh, Hollywood. His name is Isaac, who can help us find Gary. And that's where we're, that's where we're at right now. Uh, is there anything else we can do around here? I don't think so. Prince wants the sarcophagus found now. Oh, right. Uh, let's go return this fetish to Pisha. 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 That girl you sent to me. I've grown used to masquerading as one of them and seeking something suitably feeble enough to cull from the herd. That's the first time I've had one delivered. Oh. Patty. I was like, the girl I delivered? I didn't deliver a girl. The person that popped in my head was Hannah, the one that we uh, found in her room who had gotten, like, the the vampire plague. Who we told her to rest in peace, bitch. That's why I thought. I'm like, we didn't send her. Um, okay. Hope she didn't leave a bad taste in your mouth. Uh, okay. Yes. Here's the item from the museum. Yes. This is genuine and of use to me. There is something resonating from it. A whisper. I will give you this in trade. It is known as the odious chalice. It swells with spilled blood and offers its bloat to its owner. Looks like a wet, rotting pig's face. Uh, thanks. Yes. Uh, forget it. Okay, let's see what we got. Uh. Where, where is that on? Oh, it's right there. Idiot. Ew. The perverse, okay, number of blood points stored. The perverse creation of Tsimisi flesh crafter. This abomination is forced to live a tortured eternity in servitude to the damned. As you kill enemies, the chalice will fill with blood. Use the chalice to feed from it and gain its stored vitae. Oh, that's kind of cool. So I have three books where I can gain at least some kind of skill from research. So I have nine experience points. Intelligence costs eight. Sure. Yeah. Not experience points, so we get extra in three different skills. I don't see any downside to this. Oh, I need finance ability of two for that one. I remember that. Uh, on how to handle locks and doors of all skills. Of all kinds. This uh, book raises your security skill. Cool. And... Wasn't there another book? Oh, it just carried over to that side. Okay, well. Where's finance? It's three points. Eh. I'll get to it when I get to it. If I get to it. But hey, now I have research six, so if I ever come across another book that has research that needs research six, makes it all the easier, right? 
Nope, wrong way. Okay, can't believe I'm saying this, but I want to go to Hollywood. Lovely evening. Oh, yeah. I'm afraid I can't help. Oh, actually, before we go to Hollywood, let's pick up our cash from the uh, confessions bar club thing. Lovely Money, evening. right? Been a while. Your money's been piling up. Here, that should provide for an interesting evening. Five hundred. I will take it. And you know what? Let's sell some stuff to Fat Larry. Fat Larry? Was that his name? Say now, brother. Seeing the kind of commando gear you've been stocking up on, you ain't just using that stuff for keeping the neighbors away from your shit, is you? So? Wow, wow, wow. That's your business. Okay. I just figured somebody with a shopping list like yours might be up for a little actions all, alright? Okay, what do you got in mind? Yo, I need a hardcore, massively bionic, two-fisted yo Jimbo for a super-sized skull. Straight up, hundred million dollar movie gangster. You still with me? Uh, you got my attention. Yo, here's what's going down. I got a tip that the Chinatown Tone and some local boys are meet down at a nearby parking garage to carry out a business deal. Now, I can't tell you what they is exchanging, but let's just say a certain client of mine is ready to drop some Uncle Sam-sized bucks to acquire what's in briefcase number one. You get it for me, I'ma not only give you a cut, but I roll out my special stock as well. Now, how that sound? Ooh, sounds like a good deal for you. I want to discount at your store as well. Yo, man, why you gotta shake me down like that? If I hadn't just got my foot out of cast, I'd do it myself, but... Yeah, it's got to be that way. Fine. You got a discount. But only after I get the briefcase. Deal. Yeah, that's what I like to hear. Now, if you're the straight-out hard-boiled Terminator type... I'd suggest you buy some heavy firepower before you roll up to the parking garage. You need anything? Let's see what you got. Not much. Okay, uh, let's sell some shit that we don't need. Okay, I don't need the steak. Can't sell it. Well, sell that. Sell the morphine. Sell the rings. Sell the prescription, sell the watch. Um, I think we're good now. You know what? Fine, let's buy some ammo. This is the rock, right? Yeah. How much is it? 12? How much money we got? 1800 bucks. Alright. Oh, it's right up there. I'm an idiot. Um... Is that a Braddock? That is a Braddock. Okay, I think that's good. Alright, where do you say it was at? In a nearby parking garage. Where was there a parking garage? Right there? Why don't you just say the parking garage right here? Well, I guess downtown's going to have to wait a little bit. Let's see if we can be all sneaky like. Uh, 
Probably not. seeing go in there <laughs> who's yawning ah oh, I was just about to that uh, I'm kind of curious to see if there's anything what's it called like anything hiding in here you know what I mean like any items Apparently not. I'm not going to go through all of it. Oh. Hi, fellas. Freeze mode! <laughs> <laughs> ah. I like how they're all... They're both looking at me like, uh... You see that guy? Ah. The guy's like, hey, Frank, do you see him? Ah. I think so, Bob. Is there someone there? I can't tell. bashing soaking do we have three not too shabby not too shabby at all don't mind me fellas You can do this. Come on by. No? Alright. Oh. Got one curious idiot. Oh, now we got two. You no. Know, shooting people isn't very nice, guys. Healed back all our health. Okay. Yeah, I guess there was no new no real need to buy bullets. As these guys are offering a nice fresh supply. Of bullets I will never use. Why did that gun drop and sound like an anvil dropping? <sighs> More parking. Wow. You know, for downtown Hollywood, uh, or downtown LA rather, I really thought there'd be a lot more cars parked in a car park.
you have to stop. How did I miss? You guys were worried, weren't you, that I was going to die? Not me. I know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing, guys. It's like my third night as a vampire. I don't know what I'm doing. Car stereo, I will take it. I bet you Fat Larry would really like that. Moor parking. It's very convenient. There's a lot of ladders in a park in a parking garage. You don't see me. It's okay. There's a guy with the briefcase. Can I can I not pick up the briefcase? Stop, man. Yeah, I'm in the ceiling. Great diversionary tactic. Totally knew what I was doing. Oh, they're shooting each other. Let me ask you guys a question. Sincere question. What's more scary? If you see a guy coming at you with a gun or a guy coming at you with a fucking fire axe? I would take the fire axe. <laughs> personally. All the way back up. Partner! Got the briefcase. Outstanding! Pass it over here, partner. Yeah, that's beautiful. Everything looks in order. <laughs> Somebody somewhere got to be pissed off by losing this. <laughs> Too bad I sent my man right here after him. All right. Let me peel off a few bills for you. And I'll give you a discount from now on. I'll just drop this off to the new owner in the morning. Then I'm gonna get me a big old steak. Not that domestic stuff neither. I'm gonna order up 32 ounces of Kobe beef. Ooh. The expensive shit. You wanna come? My treat. I'll have to pass. I'm unavailable during the day. I would so... I've actually never had Kobe beef before. But 32 ounces of any kind of beef? I'm fucking down. So, what stat did I gain? Defense? I wish it would tell me. Honestly, I don't know. Uh, okay. My man, what is up? I need to do some shopping. Okay, you said you are going to break out like the secret shit for me. Where is it? You were lying, Larry. Okay. Yeah, that's all done. All right, let's let's make our way to Hollywood. Going somewhere? 
Yep. Hollywood. Um. Ain't seen you here before. And if I haven't seen you, neither is Isaac. So that's your next stop. And you might be? Isaac's in the jewelry store at the end of the street. Consider yourself invited. And what if maybe I don't want to see Isaac? Heh. <laughs> you do. Whatever. I'm not gonna start shit. Sounds like a opening to a Nirvana song. I have no idea what's in here. I mean, obviously, the it's like... The moon is out, everyone's in dreamland, and you've turned into the dead of night. What's up? Nobody to oh. sleep next to you? <sighs> Welcome to Red Spot, home of the Monstro Chug. 72 ounces of your and favorite hey, beverage you for 89 cents. Blah, blah, blah. You need help or something? 89 cents. 72 ounces Looks for like eight. Jesus. You hear anything new about the serial killer? Uh, this isn't going to turn out to be ironic, is it? You're not like a serial killer, are you? I mean, not Don't the kind know? of serial killer that's on the hunt. No. Always. You should come out and see my band, a bowl of cereal. We're playing tomorrow night at the crematorium. Five bucks, two drink men. We're going to ruin the place. Interesting. Anything else I should know about? Yeah. The Vesuvius rocks. They don't let me in anymore, but damn, the girl's in there, dude. It's like midget smuggling in there. A big fat Great, maybe I'll go check it out. Uh, hey, you know, you should really ask me about the special, you know? Okay, what's the special? I'm glad you asked that, bro. Seeing as how you look trustworthy or something, I got this special where you buy some really expensive burrito tots or grapple juice. You get a free weapon in your choice, bro. You interested? Sure. It's always good to know that the future of our country is That is, uh... Colt Anaconda. Oh Let's see who else we got. Caller, what do you do for a living? I'm Roger. Okay, and what do you do, Roger? Um, I'm a writer, Deb. So, have you written any uh, movies I might have seen? Well, I actually haven't finished any screenplays yet. I see. So, have you done any other kinds of writing? Well, just some outlines right now, but I've got some really good ideas for some stories that are crawling around sure, in the old about the slush hammer. <laughs> So, if you haven't really written anything, how can you call yourself a writer? Because I once fixed my toilet doesn't make me a plumber, right? What do you see? Is there anyone in this city that doesn't call themselves a writer or actor or director? Don't you think you're doing a disservice to those who actually make their living in those art forms by deeming yourself something you're not? Or not Light even leather do? has an arm, arm rating of two. I think I'm pretty good at knowing what's good writing from bad writing. Minus one dex. Wouldn't that make you a critic? Let's see if anyone else agrees. Line two. Are you ready for a menage a trois? No. Sure thing, Deb. And would you please state what you do for a living? I'm a personal assistant for a producer at Parasite Studio. Perfect. Do you read a lot of screenplays? Don't get me started. Well, for our writer on the phone, here's your big chance to pitch your screenplay. Death, Is that okay, Line Death, death, me, death well, spend, okay. spend, spend, okay. sex, so, uh, sex, sex. Happy Mother's Day. Okay. Uh, okay, so this guy, he's, well, he's like a, an FBI agent, but, you know, he doesn't really work for the main FBI. Um, he's got this partner who's new and really cute. I'm just she's listening to the really good agent. And they're like assigned to this bizarre case where people are being killed in really strange ways. Uh huh. And then like something happens and the girl agent gets kidnapped by the killer. Something happens. Yeah, well I haven't quite figured it out yet, but like the guy agent notices like how the killer seems to know everything he's doing like one step ahead of him. And then there's this kind of you know weird chase scene. And then, like, we find out that the guy's got two personalities. And, like, he finds out in the end that he's the killer. And then uh, he's kidnapped his own partner. Well, Line 2, what do you think? You're going to option it or not? Uh, writer dude? Roger. Uh, Roger, would you like my professional opinion? Yeah. Where are you from? Um, Wisconsin. Okay. I want you to get all your stuff together, and then I want you to move back to Wisconsin. That's a little cold, Line 2. That's Hollywood, baby. Maybe it's just too good for you. Uh, no, dude, it's not. Break it up, you two. Final thoughts, guys? Wisconsin. I have some other things I'm working on, too. 
I got some pretty good ideas for video games, I think. If anyone's interested in hiring me, my number is 213... Sorry, Roger. The only one that gets to give out their number on this show is me. And if anyone was thinking of asking what I'm wearing, that number again is 323 KL5 KTRK. We're going to take a short commercial break. Sorry, I, I just love the, the banter that they have back. Someone left a money clip in there. I got the last of the groceries, honey. I just need to close the truck. One more nail and this birdhouse will be as good as new. Oh, I can't get in there. I'm sorry, sir. This dressing room is for women only. You don't have to let this happen to you. Hi, I'm... Anyways. Sorry, I was just paying attention to the radio. <laughs> He's like an FBI agent, but not really. I could have swore I told you to see the Baron. Yeah, that was a laugh. <laughs> Except my sense of humor is a little askew, you know? Conflict just cracks me the hell up. <sighs> Let's go, Chuckles. Ha! Wasted effort. Fine, I'll go fucking see the Baron. Where is he? Fuck, I can't even explore in peace. Jewelry store? Is there a jewelry store here? Abrams Golden Age Jewelry. Is this it? Always assume there's a side entrance, by the way. Wanky digs. I like this more than the uh, than the prince's room. What? You okay? Oh, just admiring your own place. I know it's pretty nice. Good evening, neonate Isaac Abrams. I've been expecting you. Seems the wooden soldiers of the Camarilla shuffle in a little too often these nights. That baby-faced two-bit prince Lacroix got something to say to me. You tell me, one of your goons directed me here. Very courteous of you to stop by. All kindred that enter my domain are expected to introduce themselves. It may seem like an outdated formality, but it serves its purpose. No, it's cool. I get it. Uh, and what purpose would that be? It gives me the opportunity to personally welcome visitors to my domain. It also helps to establish an understanding in advance. So that there are no unfortunate accidents while they are in town. So what kind what sort of understanding is there going to be between us? Call me old fashioned, but this is my barony, and as is tradition, a token of respect must be paid. Uh all right, what fetch quest is it now? What do you want? What I want is a simple exchange. Last week, I paid for a certain item, a movie, and this evening I got an email saying that the seller is ready to deliver it. Unfortunately, he's become a bit paranoid all of a sudden. Won't meet me in person, won't drop it off, won't even answer his phone. Says he'll send the location of the pickup to a computer in the nearby internet cafe tonight. You see where I'm going with this? You want me to make the pickup? Easy enough. Go to the Ground Zero Internet Cafe. Look for a directory named Joseph K and use the password Kafka. There'll be an email in there that will specify a nearby location. Meet the contact, pick up the item, come back. Not too painful, right? Oh yeah. It's always it's always as easy as it sounds. Uh, I'll do it, but I got some questions first. There'll be plenty of time for questions later. I'll explain everything when you get back. All right. Excellent. In the meantime, consider yourself a welcome guest in my barony. Welcome to Hollywood. Thanks. Anything nice on those computers? No. Ooh, nice PC. A lot of buttons. All right, now maybe I can look around in peace. Uh... It's been a while since I lived in Hollywood, but I don't think it kind of had in any ha it had any kind of view like this. 
Maybe the hills, but we're definitely not on the hills. I mean, those are the hills. No English, no English. Okay, sorry. Oh, I know, I was really hoping to catch a movie too. Uh. Okay. Oh, it's locked. It's like, I don't think I should be there. Eh. You okay there, bud? Okay. Sunset print. Sorry, we're closed. Oh my gosh, is that you? Everyone was worried sick about you. When you didn't show up and, and didn't call and nobody knew anything about what happened to you, we thought you were dead. Are you okay? You know what? Never mind. We have to help you. Who are you? It's me, Samantha. Don't you... Did you suffer amnesia? Is that it? Let me make a call. We'll, we'll get everybody together. We, we can talk. Maybe you'll remember something. The important thing is that they know that you're alive. Oh, it's probably... I get it. Someone from my... Before I became a vampire. Right, from my actual life. Uh, I think you made a mistake. I just moved here. I don't know you. Come on, this is serious. I know it's you. Don't you recognize me? It's me. It's Samantha. What happened to you? Honestly, Samantha, I'm not him. Okay? You understand? It is you. I don't think you know what you're saying. We're going to help you. You'll see. Everybody just wants to see you safe and back to your old self. Wait here. I I'm gonna make a call. It's gonna be okay. But... It's quite some swinging hips. Right, bye. Okay, let's hey, look on them. Yeah, it's Sam. You'll never believe who I found. You know who disappeared a little while ago? Yeah, I, I couldn't believe it either. He just walked by me in Hollywood. He's right here. Anyhow, something seems wrong, and I and I wondered if you could call a few people and Well, he didn't recognize me at first, and I think it might be drugs or something. He needs our help. Okay. Well maybe we could check him into a hospital or get the police involved. Well, we can't just leave him here like this. He's... All right, call them and I'll, and I'll keep him here. Just let everybody know he's alive and that we're going to get him some help. Ruh-roh. It's going to be okay. I'm sure we'll do something to... Uh, uphold the masquerade again. What is with people just standing in front of the doors? Are you alright, man? What? It's gonna be okay. <sighs> okay, you know what? Probably see where this is going. Yeah, yeah. Is this is back door. Oh. Did he just shoot her? Oh my god, that's so funny.
It didn't even bring back the massacre. Oh, fuck. I don't want to lose humanity for this shit, man. What if I just go in here? Is she gonna follow me? Okay, no, she doesn't. I don't even know where I came. Sorry, no vacancies. I'm just looking around. Feel free, man. This is a treasure trove of human banality. Working here, you meet lots of types, man. You, you get stories, you get characters, you get like, you know, this is the kind of place where writers go to study human behavior, man. It's invaluable. Let me guess, you're a writer? Writer's such a tarnished term, you know what I mean? It's like, like every other guy says he's a writer, right? Like, you write a letter, you're a writer, you know? It's like, what I do, that's like, that's screenwriting. Like, I encapsulate the essence of excellent film in my scripts, all right? Like, I'm, a, I'm like a blacksmith with pens, all right? I'm a welder of montage. What do you write? Does a writer write, or does he just like, Ink the flotsam and jetsam floating in his subconscious into a 120-page oh piece of God. film genius. But, you, you know, most of my subconscious is filled with old horror films, so that, that's what I write mostly, I guess. What kind of horror film are you working on? Me? I'm, like, looking to redefine the vampire movie, okay? Like, tons of people make vampire flicks, like popular characters, but me... I'm going to be doing the real deal. Like, not only is it going to be scary, but it's going to be, like, it's going to be believable. Vampires? What do you know about vampires? Well, in my story, it's not like about garlic and bats, okay? It's about vampire societies and stuff. You know, like, what would vampires be really all about? I mean, how do they blend into society without being discovered? I see. Well, I must be going now. Yeah, very meta, I know. What do you do? Okay, and what do you do, Roger? So have you written you know what the movie? funny thing is like I've lived in Hollywood as, as I mentioned um, and uh, I actually went to Hollywood to study film I'm yes I'm one of those guys um, and I wish I could say that I wasn't like one of these guys I kind of was but I got over it fairly quickly but uh there are people that are still like this. That's crazy. I'm going to change the face of Hollywood, man. Then there are people that are like, I'll never work for Hollywood. It's too mainstream. It's too corrupted. It's too uh, formulaic. Difficulty of eight. Oh, it's the wrong one. Guess I can just blood buff. Where am I? I'm obviously at some kind of like motel or something. Oh my god! My work is done! Using the key you found at the last murder site. Oh, we're at the Lucky Star Motel. Quest complete. Oh, because the key. Because we have the key. Um, Brother Salvage. So the guy just yeeted out the window? Well, fuck. Uh, okay, let's blood buff, and then we'll do this one. And then we'll unlock the other one as well while we're still blood buffed. Oops. Okay. Wow, really?
Well, I'm glad... Oh, fuck you. Glad we managed to break into here. Oh. 200 bucks. Well worth it. Night eating you? Do you know there's a dead body in one of your rooms? Already? Man, that's early for tonight. Oh well, I'll, I'll, I'll call the cops, but who knows when they'll show up to protect and serve, right? <laughs> Guess I'm out of here then. <laughs> I love how this is the guy's leaving. He's like, uh, just so he knows the dead body in there, didn't know if you know that. I, I, I had nothing to do it. I just saw it. Just wanted to let you know. All right, good. She's gone. Uh, okay. Let's keep looking around. Ground Zero Internet Cafe. Right. So that's where we need to go. Sure. Let's check it out. Since we're here. So we had to find one that said something. Ooh, a book. Cowboy's Guide to Cyberspace by Case. And they pause the game here. Don't touch me. I, I wasn't. Hollywood Celebrity Database. Ooh. Nah. Okay, we're looking for a computer that says something specific. AWP whore. If you say so. Sorry. No, it's all good. It's all good, baby. Out of my way. Hey, sorry. Oh my god. <laughs> Idiots. <laughs> Oh, I see. So there's two Pacula. Six emails. Shizzle. Two Mac down. Dude, my Prussians totally rushed your Franks last night in Eurocraft. <laughs> Playing tonight? Also, that girl that sits next to me in, the sci in science talked to me today. She totally wants me to do her. Yep. Every girl that ever talks to you definitely wants you to do her. No, dude, your mom. Your mom. Psych, your mom. What are you going... What are you doing to me, Tupacula? I said cover me, not die like a little bitch. One more food bar and you're out of the clan. I just straight snatched the new Troika game. If you hack sword the code, you can unlock Clan, clan Chocula. Okay, so I'll check each one. You kitty you. Subarashi. He told me hello. Hello, I'm Ayako. Let's English practice. Your homestay, how it is. America be so coolest. You are in Hollywood? Are you in a movie? Love Ayako. <laughs> are you in a movie? Present Kenta and I ate okonomiyaki of Yokohama. What extremeness was tasty? What is eaten in America? Does they eat the Japanese food? I must investigate. Bye bye. Our Americans have long legs. Are you date American boy? Is the image sent? It is happy. This weekend, I go to the hot spring where my family has been attached. I'm, ex I'm excited, Barry. When we are the child, is Yuki, which is the friend to us, remembered? She's also inquire about thing in America. Is the pleasant time past? Send many images due to me. 
I can't tell if this is like racist or not. It's probably borderline racist. So we already did that one. Okay, so this one's the only one left. Noob camper. Joseph K. Ooh, apps. DIR. Your account balance is 56 cents. Recharge your account. Okay, email. Said Kafka, right? Meet me in the back alley behind the fast buck. Okay. Oops. Mav has detected a virus in the attachment of this message. The virus has been quarantined and notice sent to sniffq at mail.vtm. Okay, I'm just gonna save. Get in there. Ooh, nice posters. Collide. Chasing the ghost. Some kind of strange. Need to read. Racing. See Jane Drive. Pronoun verb. Troika making learning fun. That's funny. What is that? Park Ranger, a Park Service first person shooter. Not in my park, buddy. Bella Morte, last round, December 25th. Die, my darling. This is Extreme Hoop and Stick 3. Very, very fun. All right, that'll do it for this episode. We'll uh, we'll search more of uh, Hollywood the next time. Uh, it's looking a lot smaller. Uh, it's probably it looks like it's the smallest out of all the areas because it was just down that street and down this street. There's not really much to it. I honestly don't remember. But uh, yeah. We'll, uh, we'll find out uh, basically in the, in the next video. Thank you all so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.